Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. We meet today to continue our series of lessons about sentence errors as usual, right? And of course, this time we will deal with the errors that concern modifiers. Modifiers. Now, of course, uh, previously in our last uh, video, we learned that a modifier, right, is a word or a word group, right? Uh, that modifies another word or another word group. When I say word, I mean adjective or adverb as words, clear. And when I say uh, word group, I mean a phrase or a clause that acts as either adjectives or as adverbs. Now, of course, uh, the aim of using these modifiers is to enable us uh, to express our ideas more clearly and more precisely, clear, and more precisely. How? By making right, some of our statements more specific, more specific. Now, of course, this is achieved when we place, when we position, when we put our modifiers in the right place. Yani, I mean, sorry, as close as possible, right, to uh, the element or the word or the uh, word group that okay these modifiers modify modify now in case i violate this rule in case i uh, put them in the wrong place here i will commit one of the sentence errors which is uh, misplaced modifiers misplaced modifiers now what do you mean by misplaced modifiers you see the term misplaced it means put in the wrong place now this is the case when uh, a modifier is incorrectly or improperly separated from the word it modifies clear it modifies now in this case the modifier does not clearly point to or refer to uh, the word or the word group it modifies now this will make our a sentence uh, obscured, clear, <clears throat> confusing, and also misleading to the reader. Misleading to to the reader. That's why we need to pay attention uh, uh, very carefully to where I should place my modifiers, right? And respect the common rule, okay, and the basic uh, rule which says they should be placed as close as possible to the word they modify. Of course, with regard to the uh, type of every modifier, whether adjective or adverb. So, let's take an example about misplaced modifiers. Here I have this sentence. On her way home, Jane found a gold man's watch. Clear. Gold man's watch. Now here, this sentence includes a modifier, which is gold. And we all know that gold is adjective as a word. And the rule says, in English uh, structure or English writing, we must always uh, put the adjective as a word directly before the noun it modifies. It modifies. So here, when I read the sentence, I find gold before man. Of course, the meaning is not this one. Clear. It is not what the writer intends. So gold here uh, modifies man, but normally gold is related to what? To watch, clear, to watch. So normally it must be placed directly uh, before watch, right? Before watch. So, okay, watch. Now, uh, how can we uh, fix and uh, correct such type of misplaced modifiers simply by rearranging reordering the sentence parts and the elements and the placing the modifier uh, as close as possible as near as possible right as required uh, to be clear to the word or the word group it modifies it modifies example in this case i have adjective as modifier gold and I have the targeted word, which is now watch. So I correct it 
by putting gold before watch. And I write, on her way home, Jane found a man's gold watch. Gold watch. So here I displaced, I changed, right, the position of watch and put it directly before the noun it modifies. Clear? Go. Now, just we need to have an overview about uh, the correct position of modifiers, okay, in the structure of the English sentence, whether it is an adjective or it is an adverb. Now, we have in English uh, certain common rules and common structures, right, and order of elements we must respect. Whether these modifiers are only a word or a phrase or a clause or a clause. Let's start with the adjectives. Now, for adjectives as number one, as one word, usually rule says we place always an adjective of word immediately before the noun it modifies. Like the strong man, the young girl, huh? the cheap mobile. Clear? Now, as a phrase, right, as a phrase, and we said usually that the adjectives are always related to a noun, not to a verb and not to, okay, uh, an adverb or adjective. Right, when we say adjective, it means they always modify a noun, only a noun, right, or a noun of phrase or a noun of clause. Good. So, as a phrase, for example, when we have a phrase that modifies a noun, usually the rule says we place this phrase, adjective phrase, right after the noun it modifies. For example, I say the man with sunglasses, the girl in blue skirt. Clear? In blue skirt. So here, as you see, the phrase comes directly after the nouns. Now, in case I have an adjective clause, and you know, when I say adjective clause, I mean relative clause. The clause which starts with one of the, of the relative pronouns, who, who, whose, which, and that, or also relative adverb, when and where, okay. And all of them, of course, huh? Uh, should come directly after a noun they refer to and they modify. That's why also for the case of adjective clause, huh, the adjective clause must be always placed directly after the noun it modifies. Example, I saw the man who helped me. This is the car which I bought. So who helped me and which I bought? act as adjective clauses and then modify the nouns before them. Clear? Before them. Good. Now, on the other hand, second type of modifiers, which is the adverb. Adverb can be a word or also a phrase or also a clause. Now, let's highlight the different cases of the adverb as a word. Now, usually as a word, we have four main types of adverbs. Number one, we have uh, adverbs of manner. The answer of how. For example, I said, he speaks English fluently. Fluently. Right. He, uh, I don't know, walks very, uh, he walks slowly, he walks slowly. All right, so here, as you see, uh, the adverb of manner usually comes at the end of a sentence after the verb, at the end of the sentence. Right, this is the first type of adverbs, huh? as a word. Second type also is the adverb of time, like tomorrow, like yesterday. Now these are placed either right at the beginning of the sentence, or at the end. Huh? Tomorrow I will, meet, I will meet you. Or I will meet you tomorrow. Yesterday I met him. Or I met him yesterday. You see? Now, third type is adverbs of degree. Degree. Now, these 
adverbs of degree, they come to uh, modify either an adjective or an adverb. And they always come directly before them. Before them. For example, when they modify an adjective, we can write, for example, here, huh? it is very cold. So very, adverb of degree, huh? modifies adjective cold. He speaks very rapidly. So very, adverb of degree, modifies another adverb which comes directly after it. Clear? Directly after it. Right. Good. Uh, the adverbs of degree uh, answer the question of to what extent. Clear? To what extent. Right. What extent? Uh, and of type of when. To answer the question of when. Fourth type of adverbs, okay, as a word is adverbs of frequency. Frequency. Huh? The answer of the question how often? How many times? Right. So here we have examples like always, usually, uh, rarely, sometimes, often, occasionally, and so on. So these have three main positions or different positions. They are placed after the verb to be when it comes aloud in a sentence. He is always absent. Right. He is always absent. They are placed also always uh, before the single common, uh, common uh, verbs. Right. He always arrives late. Huh? He sometimes huh, forgets his homework. Right. Also, in case we have a compound verb, I mean, auxiliary verb, plus uh, the rest, clear, uh, the rest, whether it's time ing or uh, past participle, the verb of, uh, verb of frequency always comes after the first auxiliary verb. Huh? He is always telling lies. Right, clear. She was uh, don't know, uh, uh, rarely uh, telling the truth. Right, like this. Good. Now I repeat and uh, we remind ourselves that when we say adverbs, okay, they usually, okay, they are always related to either an adverb or adjective or a verb, mainly a verb. Clear. Adverb is modified. Verb or adjective or another adverb. Clear. They have the relation to to a noun. To a noun. Good. Now, for the adverb also as uh, a phrase. As a phrase. Right. Now, adverbial phrases, clear, they should be placed as close as possible to the word they modify. Clear? They modify. Right. We have two common cases with these uh, <coughs> adverbs of, uh, as phrases of time and of place. For example, I say, in 1991, huh, uh, I traveled to England. Or I traveled to England in 1991. So here, phrase acts as adverb of time. So it comes either at the beginning or at the end. Clear? At the end. Right. Also, for phrase acting as adverbs okay, of, uh, of place. Like, for example, we studied at university. Huh? At university. Usually it comes at the end. Right. Uh, and sometimes it may come at the beginning. Right. At the beginning. For the other types of phrases as adverbs, it must be as related as possible and as close as possible to the word right. It modifies. Clear? It modifies. Now for adverbial clauses, of course, when we say adverbial clause, we mean subordinate clauses, dependent clauses, which start with a conjunction of subordination, like because, as, since, 
or thou, thou, clear. If, unless, before, after, until, as soon as, and so on. So all these, when they come at the beginning of uh, a clause, right, it becomes subordinate, it becomes dependent, and it becomes adverbial. It acts as an adverb, right, as an adverb. Here, we place this adverbial uh, clause in the sentence, of course, uh, as close as possible to the word it modifies, but it may come at the beginning or at the end of the sentence, right, depending on what you want to emphasize. For example, I want to say, uh, because he was ill, he uh, did not go to work. Or, he did not go to work because he was ill. Because he was ill. So here we are free to place it at the beginning or the end, depending on what I want to emphasize. Clear? To emphasize. Right. So, this is uh, simply a brief summary about the correct uh, position of these modifiers that we must respect and uh, follow when we write our sentences to avoid the mistake of misplaced modifiers. Clear? So always please learn these structures and these positions for every type of modifiers and respect it in your writing to make it clearer, right, and more expressive. Thank you so much.